More money and land for school additions. That is what Greenville County School Board members had to decide tonight for two schools in Fountain Inn. School Board members say it's one of the fastest growing areas in the county. Our Ray Urena joins us live outside the school district building in Greenville with more. Ray? Well, Gabby and Mark Fountain Inn officials say they have grown by 34% since 2010, which is double what the county itself has grown, Greenville County. And they say people there are getting younger, putting more pressure on the school system. Additions for two Fountain Inn schools are moving forward. The first $16.9 million will be added to the cost of an addition to the high school for a total cost of more than $48 million. Officials say it will add more classrooms and a fine arts space to handle 250 more students than planned. The original school was built for, for 1,000 students with the expectation to eventually go to 2,000. Um, we thought that it wasn't going to be needed as soon as it is, but of course, as we all know, the county is growing and certainly down in that part of the county. Parents like Kevin Altavo say the project is needed. Being a new school and seniors, are there hasn't been a senior class yet. And next year there will be a senior class. And with the amount of new freshmen coming in from Rudolph Gordon, from the eighth grade class coming in as ninth graders, I think it's really, uh, really important. Trustees also approved buying over three quarters of an acre for a future expansion for Fountain Inn Elementary. The school district plans to turn that school into a K through eight. We need that extra uh, land to be able to add on to the back of the school and to have um, to have enough room basically for the additions as well as some other requirements that more than 4000 people have moved to Fountain Inn since 2000. Carlin says staying ahead of future growth is one of the district's biggest priorities. Make sure that we're, we're getting, a, getting slightly ahead of growth so that we're not having to do, um, as you've seen in, in other school districts in the state where you have portable farms, portable classroom farms all over campuses. We don't want to get to that place. And Carlin says that the addition to the high school should be ready next August, but adds that they will have a modular classroom classroom building on that campus until that's ready. The expansion for the elementary school, on the other hand, will likely not be ready until 2030. Live in Greenville, Ray Arena, WYFF News 4.